Gentlemen, let's go to America's division here. Let's go to the division of the working man. That's the AFC South, where the Titans blew their chance to jump to the number one seed by losing to the Steelers. So Tennessee remains the heavy favorite here to win the division, despite its lead being trimmed to just one game over the Colts, who have better odds to win the conference, actually. So, Reed, which team do you like more to make a deeper playoff run here? You like the Colts or you like the Titans? Well, the, the obvious cop-out answer is, well, it depends where they land, right? And what yeah. their path to, uh, to the Super Bowl is. But, you know, if we take that out in a vacuum, I think the Colts have a better shot at doing this, right? They're just made for a large or for, for a deep playoff run. They have the best player and running back, probably the most valuable player when you, when you break down that word. Uh, and we'll go to Pierce on, on the actual breaking down of, you know, vernacular in the NFL. Uh, but you know, like he is, he has a touchdown in what, like every single game since like week four and their defense is really strong. We saw that this past week that their defense gets you there. Carson Wentz is the question mark, but you got a Tennessee team that doesn't play solid on defense at all. They're void of running backs, despite what Jeff's going to tell you about Foreman Hilliard and whoever else is back there. They might get Derrick Henry back and AJ Brown's getting healthier, but that still doesn't, doesn't uh, mitigate the issues that they have on defense. So the Colts are, are positioned there. Having said that, they're an indoor team. If they have to go to New England, Kansas City, and play in the cold in the playoffs, that's definitely going to hurt. If they can get to that three seed and they can get home field advantage and play Lucas Oya as much as possible, then I like the Colts in this one. Okay, Pierce, how we feel about this? You got the Titans minus 800 to win the AFC South, but they're just plus 1,000 to win the conference. Indy has a better odds to win the conference. That's because the sportsbook knows the Titans are frauds. It's saying it all season. The team has a good pass rush, and that's where the conversation ends. What else do the Titans do that's good? I don't know. They don't have receivers. They don't have a line. The line's been playing okay. That's not great. Dante Foreman had 100 yards yesterday against Pittsburgh. Big deal. He still lost the football game. Tennessee is not a good team. And what do we always say? Well, wait till Derrick Henry in December. Wait for Derrick Henry in the playoffs. It's wait for Jonathan Taylor in December. Wait for Jonathan Taylor in the playoffs. The Colts have a decent pass game. They have a good offensive line. They're great running back. They have a good pat or rush defense. And they have a pass defense that works pretty well preventing big plays. They are really well suited to make a major run and shock the world. Oh, wow. Jeff, listen, even if Derrick Henry recovers from his foot surgery in time for the playoffs, Tennessee may have already lost valuable ground to the top teams in the conference, and that's going to leave them a tough road to Super Bowl 56. Now, look, I mean, I, I, I'm not even going to argue. Like, the Colts are the better team right now. So if you're looking at these odds, like, I, I think this is correct. Even with the Colts, look, there is still a scenario. We're, talk, we're all, like, clamoring about the Colts. and John, There's still a scenario where the Colts don't make the playoffs. I mean, there's four teams, Buffalo, Chargers, um, Ravens, and Colts. One of those teams aren't making the playoffs. So just keep that in mind here. As, as much as we're talking and we're building them up, they're, they're like one loss away from being out of the playoff picture, right? So I do think the Colts are the better team right now. That being said, the Titans are nowhere near as bad a team as Pierce is making them out to be. Their defense has stepped up. They have the best rush defense in the league over the last few games. They can run the ball. All they did, they just basically gave the game away to Pittsburgh. If they just stop turning over the ball, they win that game by 10 points. They're still very live to win the AFC because the AFC is a complete crapshoot. They have wins over all the top teams this year, the Titans do. Derrick Henry, by the way, as the Titans insider, his rehab is going extremely well. He might even <laughs> be back for week 18 if they need him. That's how well it's going, Pierce. All this Jonathan Taylor talk. Anyways, I actually do don't mind getting on either of these teams for futures. I think you need to look at both of them. They both come with a little bit of risk, but you're getting the best odds. And I think both these teams are very live to win uh, the AFC this year.